Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hope you all enjoyed the first segment of the One Doctrine, One Spirit, and now hopefully we all understand is one body in Mashiach, or the Jews, which is the twelve tribes, and the Gentiles that are called out of all nations, kindreds, peoples, and tongues. Yes. And we're going to continue on this understanding and admonition for us that believe in Yache of all nations to put on Yache and bear the fruits of his spirit and endure all tribulation so that we may be accepted of him and be kept from the plagues and destruction to come and be justified in believing in him on the day of judgment. So we pick up at Colossians chapter 1, verse 24 to 28. Mm-hmm. Colossians chapter 1, verse 24. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Messiah in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. He says, fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Mashiach in my flesh for his body's sake. For us, we choose to be a part of this body, afflictions are going to come. Because we're all being afflicted, knowing that all your brethren in the world are partaking in the same affliction. That's what Peter had mentioned in uh, 1 Peter 5 and 9. We'd be comforted knowing that we're all going through this together. Right. And Mashiach had suffered all these afflictions to show that through him we can overcome these afflictions. This is why our faith is so important. And continuing in Colossians 1 and 25, Wherefore I am made a minister according to the dispensation of Elohim, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of Elohim, even the mystery <laughs> which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom Elohim will make known with the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Messiah in you, mm. the hope of glory. The mystery is to know that Jew and Gentile, that seed that was promised, when Ahia said, In thy seed shall all nations be blessed, Yache, that seed is in all of us, and that's how the seed is being multiplied. Continue. Verse 28. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. There we see there's no prejudice in regards to nation. Warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. And we know wisdom is the spirit. So we're teaching each man to obey the spirit, which is the law, because the law is the spiritual. And then the fruits of the spirit. Exhorting men, all men of all nations to turn on to Allah and bring forth fruit worthy of repentance. Continue. That we may present every man perfect in Messiah Yacha. That lets us know the goal of this true doctrine, the goal of the gospel, is to bring every man unto perfection, which is charity, the bond of perfectness, mm-hmm. which Yacha is the perfection of. For Allah I am is love. So this helps us understand what this gospel is about to attain unto perfection, to be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect, by the effectual work of Yacha in you. But we keep stressing that because it's very important to understand it's not something that we are physically doing ourselves. That's right. When you cleave to the point of you lay all your cares upon Allah, knowing that in His name, in Ahaya, in His name, by Mashiach Yache, only can you be saved, trusting in His power and His mercy. That is what is going to deliver us. Completely letting go of ourselves, our desires, our lusts. It's important to understand because it's the key to being able to attain and keep these commandments. 
Because Hormus, commandment 12, the angel of repentance had told Hormus, and the man that hath Ahaya in his heart mm -hmm. is able to keep these commandments. Right. So it, uh, that's why it's so essential you hear us keep mentioning this, because it's, it's the key, brothers and sisters. Right. It's the key. So continue. Let's go to Galatians chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. Because even Paul, Paul is a living testimony of it because he came from sin and ignorance. Right. And then when he realized what was really going on, what was the actual key, he took off. Like he said, whereas a man running a race in the book of Corinthians, he took off striving toward that mark, enduring all things to get to the goal of Mishiach Yache, which is the end of righteousness for those that believe, to be counted as righteous, to be perfect. So, may we be encouraged. It's uh, Galatians 1, 15 and 16. But when it pleased Elohim, who separated me from my mother's womb, and called me by his grace, to reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen. Now notice Paul didn't understand what was going on in his life until the time when Messiah visited him, as we read about in Acts 26. Right. But we see the calling was from before the womb. Because the people that have been chosen for this opportunity to be saved, the choice was made before the foundation of the world. Right. Paul had, he also talked about that in the book of Ephesians. And, and we bring this forth so that we may be encouraged to know the choice was made before the world began. The events have already taken place. They've already transpired. We're just in this world living it out. Right. So be encouraged to know it's there for us. Just be faithful. Be faithful and endure in righteousness and know that it's already happened. So we're just walking it out. Um, continuing in Galatians. Okay. Immediately, I confer not with flesh and blood. So as soon as he realized it was Mishiach in him, straight to the work. He was very zealous for doing Elohim's will, as we ought to be. All right. In chapter 2, verse 7 and 8 of Galatians, what? this same working in Paul is the same spirit working in Peter. Because to the Jew and to the Gentile, the same gospel was being preached. They were on the same accord because it was the same spirit working in them both, as it says. Galatians chapter 2, verse 7. But contrarywise, when they saw that the gospel of uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the gospel of circumcision was unto Peter. For he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. It was Yachi's spirit abounding in both. So it was committed unto Paul to focus on the Gentiles, though he preached to Jew and Gentiles as the scriptures so. And Peter, it was his focus was to preach to the Jews. He also preached to the Gentiles too, because he was sent to Cornelius, so we can understand Allah wasn't prejudiced toward the nations. And then Peter also attested that they were on the same page in Second Peter three and fourteen. Second Peter three and fourteen. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. An account that the long suffering of our Adonia is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. <laughs> Peter understood Paul that the Spirit was mighty on Paul, and That's right. his, his letters are high level in the law and the prophets. He's speaking on a lot of things, it's very powerful words, and that's why it's used also to cause people to stumble that's that right. do not know the scriptures. And we praise Ahaya for the opportunity to clarify what Paul is teaching. Continuing with 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4 to 8, that if we keep the law blameless, it will get us salvation. If we do all things unto perfection, it will get us salvation. Continue. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. I thank my Elohim always on your behalf. For the grace of Allah, which is given you by Yahweh, 
Hemashiach, that in everything you are enriched by him, mm-hmm. in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Messiah was confirmed in you, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Adonai, Yache Hemashiach, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Adonai, Yache Hemashiach. This is the patience of the saints. And therefore we see we can't lack in anything because he called us to be perfect. So he's exhorting, it's interesting, he's exhorting them to be enriched so that they're blameless. That's they right. are perfect in all things. They're not lacking in any fruit. Like but they, said. Right. Waiting on his coming, enduring all things, waiting on him to come, knowing that we shall be saved, that we work that which is right in his sight. That's right. Continually bearing fruit and keeping the commandments until the end. That's right. It's good to clarify what patience, the patience of the saints means. Um, we are exhorted to increase in the love of Allah. He said to be enriched. So let's look at Philippians chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. And this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge mm-hmm. and in all judgment, that you may approve things that are excellent. Now we know he's talking about the law there as well. Because Romans chapter 2 verse 18 said, if you can touch that, yeah. Romans 2 and 18, please. Romans chapter 2 verse 18. And knoweth his will, and approveth the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law. And now that also helps us understand, we're going back to Philippians 1 and 10, well, also helps confirm that Paul was exhorting all the churches to keep the commandments. Sure. Continue. That ye may approve things that are excellent. Mm-hmm. That ye may be sincere. Fruits of the Spirit. Continue. And without offense to the day of Messiah. And without offense toward Allah and man. That's right. So we encourage to know this is the journey that we have to partake in, brothers and sisters. Can we go to the first Thessalonians three and twelve? First Thessalonians three verse twelve. And Adonia make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men, even as we do toward you. Increase in those fruits, that bond of perfectness, that charity, because we also love those that don't love us. Because Mishiach is merciful unto all, and we are his children if we abide in him, if we continue in his patience. Continue. To the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness. Even our Father, at the coming of our Adonai Yahweh Hemeshiach, with all his saints, by abounding in love and doing all things toward him, the goal is that our hearts will be established unblameable in holiness before Allah. This is the goal. By working on righteousness, there will be no guilt in our hearts. Our conscience will be completely clear, knowing that we've done the will of our Father and the will of our Master, Adonai Yache, by His effectual work in us and bear the fruits of the Spirit. The end of the righteousness of the law for them that believe it is Yache. That's right. And He's also showing the end goal is that our hearts be unblameable in holiness, just like Yache. <laughs> so it's Him in us. It's, it's amazing. Jump to chapter 5, verse 14 to 23. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. We are all comforting each other because remember, we're all brethren partaking in the same thing in this world. So, to those of you out there, if, you, if you're feeling down about this journey, we really encourage you to continue. It's very much worth it. You know, we're here together. You, you have our email, thehebrewreaders at gmail.com. Reach out. We are family members in Mishiach Yache, Jew and Gentile. Please. Well, we, well, this is what we're here for. We are to work together. Who just puts away the works of this world and, and attain unto that goal, the true love of Allah Hayyam. Right, the strong shall bear the infirmity of the weak. That's right. Continue. 
See that none render evil for evil to any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. So you bear the fruits of the Spirit and work in all the commandments by faith in Yahshua among the believers and among the unbelievers, that we may be witnesses of Allah. Continue to uh, verse 23, please. Okay. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of Allah in Meshiach Yache concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. We have to assess everything by the law. We have to go by precepts when we go into things. We have to right. go by the scriptures so we can prove all things and make sure what we're doing, saying is true. Continue. Abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very Elohim of peace sanctify you wholly. There we see in doing these things, Elohim will sanctify us, he'll purge us, make us clean. Continue. And I pray, Elohim, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Adonai Yache HaMashiach. So now we're fully aware of what the apostles were exhorting for and pushing us towards. Let's jump to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 to 7. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. I therefore, the prisoner of Adonai, beseech you that you are worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. He's Paul said, I'm a prisoner. All right. <laughs> and I join him. I'm a prisoner of Adonai Yacha. We are prisoners. That's who we belong to. That's right. Prison. Can't go nowhere. We locked in. That's right. With Continue. all lowliness and meekness, yes. with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit. There's only one body of Mishkak. There's only one church. I understand it's so amazing. I look forward to when we get to going into breaking down what the church actually is and whatnot. So there's one body. And there's one spirit, there's only one Ruach Akwadosi. And the fruits of the spirits emanate from her. These are our daughters. The faith, continence, power, patience, simplicity, guilelessness, chastity, cheerfulness, truth, understanding, concord, and love. These are all emanating from her. For she is the mother of fair love, of holy hope. For that Holy Spirit is very powerful and very important. For I am loving none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. That's right. Yeah. This is his wife. This is <laughs> that's why blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is the unforgivable sin. So may we be encouraged to abide in that one true spirit, the Holy Spirit, and abide in the one true doctrine. That to Jew and Gentile is preached the remission of sins in Mashiach Ayache. And we are all to bring forth fruit worthy of repentance by obedience to the commandments and by bearing the fruits of the Holy Spirit to show that we are bearing the name of the Son of Allah, the only one name that all men may be saved by, the one name that Ahaya has exalted above all names, which is Yache Mashiach. And we abide in it, that we may live. Uh, continue. Amen. Ephesians verse 4, verse 4. Mm -hmm. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Hope for the resurrection in Mishiach Ayanshi. Continue. One Adonai, one faith, one baptism. That's right. There's only one faith. Mishiach is the only one we can be saved by. And there's only one baptism in the name of Ahaya, Ashe Ahaya, Yache, the Son, and the Ruach Akwadoshi, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. One Elohim and Father of all. That's right. Whom is above all. That's right. <laughs> and in through all. all no. <laughs> in you all. He is through all because it's his son in all his seed. And then it says, is in you all. Because right. if we have the Son, then we have the Father, because the Father is in the Son, and the Son is in the Father. That's right. And the last verse, 
But unto every one of us is giving grace according to the measure of the gift of Messiah. Yeah, yeah, be magnified. Lastly, close to lastly, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12 and 13, confirm that that one spirit, Jew and Gentile, is partaking in that one spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Messiah. Hmm. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Very straightly. Very straightly, that's right. Whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Oh, I yeah, be magnified. Yes, indeed. Let's finish up with Colossians chapter 3, verse 8 to 17, please. Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. But now ye also put up all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. This is why, no, we don't speak with the, the filthy communication, curse words, vulgar speech. Right. We put these things far away from us. These are works of the flesh. You know, as brothers and sisters, we sure you probably know this. Paul is telling you not to work the deeds of the flesh. Right. But this will also confirm for us to understand we have to bear those fruits of the Spirit. Right. All right, continue. Lie not one to another, seeing that you put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge, yes, after sir. the image of him that created him. And who is the image of him that created us? That's Yache. Right. That's right. But everywhere the scripture confirms that we have to put on Yahshua and become as he is, become perfect. That's right. Have hearts unblameable in holiness. To put on the bond of charity, which is the bond of peace. Be as Mishiaka is. Continue. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, mm -hmm. circumcision nor uncircumcision. Yes. Our bloodline doesn't matter. And being in Yahshua, it doesn't matter. Right. This is back what you're talking about, right. about being in Yahshua. Right. Barbarian, Scythian. So Paul is further validate. It doesn't matter where you're from right. or who you are. Yahshua is salvation unto the ends of the earth. That's right. All right. Continue. Bond nor free, but Messiah is all and mm. in all. Is all and in all. That's right. Of all nations. Continue. Put on, therefore, as the elect of Elohim, mm -hmm. holy and beloved bowels of mercy. This is what Elohim is pleased in, to abound in mercifulness, kindness, fruits of the Spirit, humbleness of mind, meekness, yeah. long-suffering, forbearing one another, mm -hmm. and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Meshiach forgave you, so also do ye. But he that is forgiven of much loveth the more. That's right. We know we come from a lot of sin, therefore we love with an abundance. Continue. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. In love. Unfeigned love of the brethren. Peter said the same thing. That's right. Continue. And let the peace of Elohim rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called in one body, mm. and be ye thankful. Let the word of Messiah dwell in you richly in all wisdom. We know what wisdom means. Continue. <laughs> Teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, mm. singing with grace in your hearts to Adonai. Now it's interesting, we're teaching and admonishing each other, that shows we're all studying the law and the fruits of the spirit that's right. we're all making sure we keep each other on and so on each other that's how we ought to operate continue and whatsoever you do in word or deed do all in the name of adonai yache that's how we cannot do any iniquity because everything we do is supposed to be in his name that's right so if we commit iniquity and try to ascribe it to his name we're counted as blasphemers Jew and Gentile. That's right. This is why we have to walk in perfectness to bear the name of Yahshua. We bear all the fruits of the Spirit that His name be not profane in anything. Continue. Giving thanks to Elohim and the Father by Him. 
Oh, we we'll magnify it. Then that was the end. We hope this has been edifying, brothers and sisters, of the Jews and of the Gentiles. And Yachi is with us, so long as we do that, which he said to do, to love, to bear fruit. Nothing can destroy us, so nothing can destroy him. You be encouraged, we hope you're encouraged, and we hope you are enjoying this opportunity, this journey. Was we had said in a long time, a while back in the intro, this journey in the right. walk of life. That's right. And we very much enjoy it. Thank you. It's a journey. We're excited. Remember the website's up. Yes, he has indeed. been gracious. He's, he's prospered out the work of our hands and got it up there. Very excited about the information. Very excited about the calendar. Look forward to you reading it. You know, the music. We're just enjoying everything I is doing, man. We just really give thanks. Yeah. With that, do you have anything else, Brian? Um, you can always leave comments below. And we will definitely always respond to you if I have permitted and be gracious unto us. We, we, we definitely like to, to interact and yes. to, to speak to people. We give thanks to Ahaya Alahayam for this opportunity in Mishiach Ayatche, our hope. Yes. May you be magnified. Yes, anything else? Well, good to me. Praise the higher. Shalom. Shalom. HRC, 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 HRC,